Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back. This is episode 49 of my FIFA 15 My Player Career on the Xbox One. To start this episode off, we are playing against Benfica in the Europa League. Kai Kwam's pushing for his 21st game of the season for Manchester United, so possibly the most we've played in a season, maybe? I can't even remember to be honest. We might have played more for Kilmonic or Ajax, I forget. But anyway, here we go. Benfica versus Manchester United. We won the first leg, if you can remember, we won 2-1. So Benfica do have an away goal, which we hope to cancel out straight away. Because um, if they get, if they win 1-0, they'll be going through to the next round. So let's try and get an away goal, cancel out that away goal um, advantage that they currently have. And we'll be looking good to get through to the next round. So early chances here for Benfica. Man United winning the ball though. Great play. And eight minutes gone. Benfica again. Pressurising the Manchester United defence. Trying to get past the last defender. Great challenge. And now Di Maria on the ball for United. Ten minutes gone. A counter-attack here. Played in field. Now Rooney plays a through ball to Kai Jr. He's one-on-one -on -one with a keeper. Shoots near post and it's in. We've got that away goal. We now we lead 3-1 on aggregate. Eleven and a half minutes gone. It's Benfica nil. Manchester United won. Great goal there with his right boot. It's his second goal in Europa League this season for Kai Jr. And as we approach... The half-time interval. Manchester United are in possession. Kai just keeping it in, in play there. Playing it forward to Gustavo. Rooney. Back through to Kai. He's through on goal. Shoots. Oh, my God. He's missed. He didn't even get that one on target. What's he thinking? Should have done better from there. And it should be 2-0. But never mind. We are still looking good. Still looking like we're going to go through to next round. But surely that should have been a goal from Kai Jr. And there goes a the half-time whistle then. 1-0 at the interval. And less than 15 minutes to go in the second half. Still Benfica nil. Manchester United 1. 3-1 on aggregate. And his daily blind for United. Playing it forward to Kai Jr. Good play there from Kai. And now Luke Shaw gives it back to Kai. Unlucky. Giving him again. Here's Kai Jr. He's got one in the box. Cross comes in. Yes, cross does come in. And go. Di Maria heads home. To give Manchester United a two-goal lead. And that wraps up the tie. We're winning 4-1 on aggregate. We've got two away goals. I don't see Benfica scoring four in the last few minutes. Great cross there from Kai. He's had a great game. Got himself a goal. And now he's got himself an assist. That's Angel Dimeria's first goal of the Europa League this season. And five minutes to go. Still 2-0. Benfica on the attack. Great chance there from Daly Blind. But it's going to go out for a throw-in to the Portuguese side. Uh, quick substitution there for Benfica. Gaetan's gone off. And Man United win the ball back. Three minutes to play. Good header there by Van Persie. Finding Kai Jr. Van Persie. Kai plays it through. Here's Valencia to make it three. He does. It's in off the post. Manchester United are through to the next round of Europa League. 3-0 on the night. 5-1 on aggregate. Great play. And again, Kai Jr. will get the assist for that goal as well. Good counter-attacking play there from United. Wide open. Valencia's not going to miss. Wow, he almost did miss, actually. But in off the post for his second Europa League goal of the season. Come on, ref. Let's blow that final whistle. Free kick to United from an offside call, I think it was. Must have been an offside call. There goes the final whistle. Benfica nil. Manchester United 3. We go through 5-1 on aggregate. Be interested to see who we get in the next round. I'm not even sure who's... Still in the competition. Final match rating for Kai Jr. 9.4, which is pretty sweet. Uh, Inter Milan are still in the competition. Atletico Madrid look like they've just been knocked out. Not sure who went through between AC Milan and Marseille. So still a couple of teams in there. Porto, and they've just got knocked out as well. And we've got Aston Villa then next up in the BPL. Kai Jr. is playing. Let's go out and get the victory. We're looking good in the league, actually. It looks like we might be champions. And if we can win this one and a couple of more games soon, or in this episode even, we might be confirmed as champions, possibly. But anyway, before then, here we go. Manchester United versus Aston Villa at Old Trafford. Kai Kwam had a good game last, last time out. Let's see if he can do that today. And here he is on the ball. Losing out. No, he holds on to it. Well, Luke Shaw. Now Di Maria. Kai Jr., Cutting across him, blocking him off a little bit. And that's a poor pass, giving it away, and Aston Villa clear it. Free kick 
to United. Well, goal kick, sorry. We've got just over five minutes to go in this first period. I think Aston Villa have just had a player injured as well. So they've been forced to make a change. And here's Luke Shaw playing it forward. Nice little pass there. Kajina with a shot. Oh, he's at the post. Unlucky. Get it away. No, get it in. I mean, don't get it away. Don't get it away, Aston Villa. United still in possession. Kai Junior cuts inside, tries to play it through to Rooney, but it's intercepted. And there's Daly Blind keeping the pressure on here with two minutes to go in this first half. Aston Villa now in possession. Well played. Come on, let's go on a counter attack. Nice sliding challenge there. Daly Blind now for United. Wayne Rooney. Herrera. Kai's going to try and make some space on this left side. He's waiting for the overlap by Luke Shaw. Gets it. Get the cross in. No, he could have crossed that first time, but he, he waited. And there's a header. Angel Di Maria. Well played for waiting, Luke Shaw. Because there was Angel Di Maria running in to head it in for his second goal in two games. A great header. Look at that. Perfect. Near post. Goalkeeper didn't stand a chance. And that's his fifth goal in the Premier League this season. Giving Manchester United a one-goal lead. And a quick change here. Mata and Wayne Rooney going off. Van Persis come on. Not sure who the other player was who came on. It was Yanazai. Yanazai came on there for United. And here's Kai Junior. Go on. Oh, he plays it across the middle. And a goal. Yanazai has just come on. And for his first touch of the game, makes it Manchester United 2, Aston Villa 0. And I'm going to say that's wrapping up the game. Kai Junior playing it. Straight across the goal. I'm surprised it wasn't cleared away there. But Man United on the attack again. Looking for a third in this game. Here's Janzai. Plays it in field to Ander Herrera. Janzai gets it back. Is he offside? No, Herrera's still onside. Why is Cardinia pushing across? I have no idea. Here's Herrera. Janzai. Cardinia shoots. Oh, just wide. Unlucky. Should have done better. He had more time than he thought, I think. And another change by Aston Villa. Got themselves a goal kick. Just over 10 minutes remaining. And they're on the attack now. Fabian Delph has his pass intercepted. And Manchester United to get the ball clear. Five minutes to go. Here's Baker. Plays the ball forward. John Joe Shelby for Aston Villa. Cuts inside. One player was offside. But oh no, the defenders missed him. Get it away, get it away. Poor defending. Oh no, it's gone in. Not sure what the defenders were doing there, but somebody just needed to thump it upfield. But they didn't. And Aston Villa have pulled a goal back. They've got two minutes to try and find an equaliser. I don't think they're going to do it. Look at that horrible defending. And the goalkeeper didn't even die for that one. Andre Carrillo scoring that Aston Villa goal into the final few minutes of this game. Just wait for the final whistle. Aston Villa winning it though. John Joe Shelby winning it. Have they got enough time to push forward? Come on, don't let him get it in. We've got one player in the middle and he's found him. It's Burke. Gets the cross in. That's way too far. No need for that. And that's probably going to be Aston Villa's last chance. It is indeed because there goes the final whistle. Manchester United 2. Aston Villa 1. We get the three points. And we've got Marseille next up in Europa League. So that's the team... Who beat Aston, uh, Aston Villa. Saying Aston Villa. We've just been playing Aston Villa. They knocked out AC Milan. There we go. They did beat AC Milan. It was on away goals as well. Come on United. 1-1. One, one. They've got themselves another away goal. Will that be important for the French side? And a quick squad report. But we're going to have a more in-depth look at Kai Jr. 22 years old. Route, valued at 8 million. His currently overall rating is 81. There is current attributes as well. 93 reactions. 92 short passing. Sprint speed has gone up plus one. We need to really get that up even further. And acceleration too. Uh, what's his strength at? His strength is 68. Jumping 59. Ball control 89. Uh, crossing is 89. That's gone up plus one. Uh, still skill moves. Three stars. Weak foot is then two stars. So not too bad. Still improving. But a long way to go. 22 years old. And here we are about to play our 23rd game of the season. This time at home against Southampton. Let's go and get the victory, please, lads. Let's go. Way really up front. The captain for today, of course. Valencia on the right side. Herrera and Mata in the middle. With Daly Blind just behind them in the CDM position. 
So here we go at Old Trafford. Manchester United versus Southampton. It's going to be United to kick off. And I've, I'm not sure if um, Southampton have brought any players in. I still see Ward-Prowse and Tadic in the team. And here's Kajina. Have we got an early attack here? Plays it in field. Wayne Rooney finds Mata. Kai Jr. has his shot blocked and cleared away there by Southampton. Schneidlin plays it to Wilfred Boney, who's at Southampton. And just over 15 minutes played. Here's Kai Jr. playing it down the wing. Herrera, nice little back heel. He should have carried on his run there, but no, he decided to come back in field. Herrera, and so did Kai. We need to push out onto that left side. Here's one Mata. Valencia, nice little back heel. Finds Rafael. Now Valencia. Kai's hovering around the far post. Rafael across the middle. And there's one matter to give Manchester United the lead after just over 21 minutes. Manchester United won Southampton. They'll good play there. One matter hovering around the six yard area for a simple tap in. Goalkeeper was nowhere. And United lead. How many goals has one matter got for the season? I have no idea to be fair. Celebrating there with Wayne Rooney. It's his fourth goal in the Premier League this season then for Juan Mata. We've got just over 20 minutes to go. Still United 1, Southampton 0. Nani's come on replacing An Antonio Valencia. And his daily blind. Tadis has always gone off. Has also gone off for Southampton. Come on, we're looking for a second. Here's the goal scorer. Juan Mata finds Kai Jr. And he's just lost out. But United keep possession. And go Di Maria. Still Di Maria. Gives it to Van Persie. Now Kai Jr. who shoots. Good save. Van Persie sliding. It's hit the post. And a goal. It's an own goal. Unlucky Southampton. Look at that. He just controlled it. And he couldn't do anything. Goalkeeper got in the way. And it's now Manchester United 2. Southampton 0. We're looking for a third. We've got five minutes of time to play. Ball over the top. Straight to the defender. And Southampton, I think, are going to get this one clear, eventually at least. There we go. Played all front. And there is the final whistle. Man United get another important three points. And it, here is the second leg of the Europa League tie against Marseille. Kaikom is not going to be playing this one. Remember, the first leg was 1-1. So Marseille have an important away goal. And, oh no, the win in. 2-2. Oh, we've won on away goals, haven't we? We've got two away goals there after extra time. Phew, that was close. So we're through to the next round of the Europa League. That was close there. And we've got another game. Which Kai Jr. is being rested for this time away to Tottenham Hotspur in the league. Let's get the victory. Come on, lads. Skip. And it's another 1-1 draw. Benteke scoring there for Spurs. And a quick look at the league table. We've got a game in hand, but look how many points we are clear. We've only lost one all season. I think, guys, we are champions with seven games to go. Thanks for watching guys, if you like the video please hit like, comment if you want to below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, peace!